Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I'm going to tie a lure, uh, which I've been using for the last uh, wee while. Uh, it's a slight variation uh, on the one I've, I normally use, but I got some capes recently from uh, Lakeland. Uh, some whiting capes, and, and they're nice capes. Now I've decided to use one of the grizzle capes to to tie part of this fly. So that, that's the only change that I've, I've made to the one I normally uh, tie. I call this a kingfisher just because of the colours uh, that are in that, you'll, you'll see that. Uh, but I don't think there's any real name for it, it's just a fly I kind of started using a, a, a number of years ago and it's it's done well for me. So in the vise I've got a, a size 10, it's just a general wet fly hook, and I've got a 3.8mm tungsten bead in hot orange. I'm just going to use a black thread, this is a sheer uh, 14 0 thread. So I'll put a quick layer of thread down. Uh, this is one of these flies that, you know, when things are going quite right and you, <laughs> you may be struggling, this is one of these flies I would uh, I would stick on. So you need some black marabou, decent pinch of that. Somewhere right. I'll actually break this before I put it on. Trim away the base. Don't want it too long. That's about right. Have a couple of wraps in behind. You're not paying attention. Maybe somebody was watching that saying, Look, he's caught the, caught the hook. Right, second time, okay. See, I don't want it, don't want it too long, but uh, most of the movement in the flies when you come from the going to come from the body. Just tighten the tail up. Mm -hmm. See this is the only change I would make to the, or that, that I've made to the fly. From the one that I normally tie, I'm going to use a, I'm going to use this grizzle cape from Lakeland. Uh, I'm going to use one of the, the bigger feathers towards the back. So I've stripped away the the base, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it halfway down, cut it out there, and I'll use the top half for a slightly smaller fly. Just grab it with the what would have been the tip. Trim that away. So you've got a wee edge to tie in. Catch that in. And down we go. Don't go quite uh, down to the end, I believe, probably three or four mil. And I like to just double this back as I'm turning it. It doesn't need to be another one of these flies, it doesn't need to be neat. Should probably use my hackle pliers for this, but it uh, interferes with the camera sometimes, so just do it by hand. Catch that in. Draw with the back. And then trim away the stock. 
And then we've got a couple of capes here I got from Cooksell. Got a, an orange, a hot orange one and a blue one. Both hen capes. So I've selected a couple of feathers from this. Again, the larger feathers towards the backs, the ones you want to be using. The orange one there. We're not going to tie them both in together, but this one's slightly, slightly smaller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the blue in first. I'm going to wind one over the, the top of the, the other one. So catch that in. Catch in the orange. Hold them both back. I'm not going to bother trimming that away. Orange first. Don't need many turns, maybe three turns. One, two. Three. Catch that in. And then over with the blue. Double that back. One. I know this doesn't doesn't look neat, but it gives really really good movement. Another turn in there, I think. I think it's slightly twisted, but again, this is really just to show you. It doesn't have to be neat. I'm actually going to go. It's one of the flies I'm going to go out and fish with. In the next two or three days and I'll do a wee video hopefully of me catching a fish with it. Just trim them away. And as you can see the the colours are nicely blended over the top, a couple of turns to lock and then whip finish. I'm not going to varnish this because I don't want it to go into the the hackle. So a couple of finishes just to make sure it's nice and secure, and then trim that away. And as you see, it's it's uh, it's not the biggest fly in the world, but you get plenty of movement from that body. Three three hen capes in there. You get loads and loads of movement. Uh, let's take out the rice just to get a better look at it. There we go. So you get loads and loads of movement with that, and uh, I've no doubt that that will catch fish all day long. It's it's a nice looking fly, but again, it's not it's not the neatest. But but at the end of the day, it's all about catching fish. So. Let me know what you think guys, tie a few up, uh, chop and change with your colours, uh, I think uh, any kind of hen cape you want to use would do the business, but uh, as I say I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a video after this and I'll, I'll try and do what I've done the last time, I'll, I'll put it to the back of this, this video uh, of me fishing the fly and we'll see how we go on. I'll, I'll save it for a day that the conditions aren't that great. Uh, we'll go and we'll see if we can get a, a few fish. Okay guys, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again next time. Cheers!